Today's guest is currently flying high as Alphaba in the Broadway production of Wicked, having previously appeared as a happy hippie in hair. Please welcome Miss Jackie Burns. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Now, Jackie, it's really nice to meet you. I've Thank never you. met you before, but I have to tell you that you're, you know, sometimes you go see a show and you see someone in the ensemble who like completely pops. And when I saw hair, I remember, as much as I love Gavin and Will, I remember <laughs> the whole time being like, who is that girl? <sighs> Because you, well, in your abs, you have, you have, and well, your, I, ab, your abs were also out <laughs> and very impressive. I have to thank my costume designer. He got me a lot of dates with that costume. Oh, yeah? yeah I, lo- I met my fiance because of that costume, so I, I love that costume. Yeah, so actually, well, let's, get, yeah, let's get right to that. I heard you're engaged to John Celia. I am. The, uh, the amazing, amazingly talented dancer who we all fall in love with in Moving Out, He's which okay. is He's okay. like I'm one of my favorite He's shows. Amazing. All time favorite shows. Yeah. Love Moving Out. But, um, yeah, I heard that he went to see Hair, and he was kind of like, I want that one. Yeah. And John Celia can do that. He can he just can go and pick, pick <laughs> he the can. He's like, you'll have this one. And I was like, okay. <laughs> have me. Yeah, basically what happened. <laughs> you, there you go. Uh, so yes, I will get back to Mr. Mr. Celia later, but um, yeah, you were incredible in that show. Thank you. And you, you, you were one of the you sang Black Boys. I did. I sang you were part of that boys. trio. Yes. And so I was at that point. I was like, okay, she not only is stealing my attention, but she also can sing. You can sing okay, but it's really the abs that really got you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of crunches for that show. The boys and the abs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now you're a leading lady on Broadway. How does yes, it feel? It's very exciting. It's very exciting. From the tribe to the to the star dressing room. Yes, it's very exciting. So h- how is the star dressing room at the Gershwin Theater? It's, it's beautiful. It's very pretty. I, I'm I'm having a little issue with the color of the room. I'm trying to get it painted a different color. Well, because it, well, obviously it gets passed down from it gets passed alphabet down to alphabet. And, and two alphabets ago, painted it a a color blue that I'm not fond of. I'm sure it looked really beautiful with her decor, but for me, I keep feeling like I'm gonna have a baby boy at any moment. So. <laughs> and I don't want kids yet, so <laughs> I'm like, we need to paint this. <laughs> so um, you also now, but you did actually in hair. You actually didn't you cover for um, Sheila, Sheila yep. right? And did you and also uh, Jeannie, right? I did, but I never went on for Jeannie. Thank the Lord, because I did not know my lines. Oh, really? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> you, that would have been but a it would nightmare. not have been a good thing if I went on for I remember when they asked me, it was like a few months into the production, uh, you know, and I had always been like, you know, first cover Sheila, so that's all I really paid attention to. And they were like, how would you feel doing Jeannie? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. But, you know, because Casey, she had, the Jeannie never called out. So I was like, sure, yeah. I'll make that extra 30 bucks a week. Right, right, You know, right. whatever. Yeah. And uh, thank God I never went on. But you did go on. Casey Levy played Sheila. I did get to and, go on a, f- um, a little bit for. Uh, now Casey Sheila. Levy, who is who will be in Ghost yeah. uh, this season, she, she was also an Alphaba yeah. on the road, right? Yeah. So do you guys like see each other in all the auditions? Are you like up against each other? This is my like, black swan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's so upsetting. Um, no, I don't. You know, I, I don't see her that much because um, she's been away yeah. doing Ghost and everything. I actually saw her for the first time last week at my first audition and her first audition back in like four months at a uh-huh. Disney audition, uh-huh. and it was funny. I was like, oh, you, yeah, it's <laughs> gonna happen a lot. Huh? No, she's so sweet. So you, you hair. I know Gavin was here last week. Gavin Creel. Now you hair kids really do all get along, huh? Yeah, it's annoying. There almost, must be some. Right? There must be some trouble. There must be some outcasts in that in that tribe now. All hippie love. Maybe me, I guess. I'm just <laughs> no, it's it was honestly because I actually came in after they had all done it. They had done it in the park once for a concert. Right. And then there's two new people came in. That's it. Me and another girl. Okay. And uh, I, I was very, I kept being like. How intimidating I, is that? It was so intimidating because they, everybody was so nice. I was ready for people to be like, "Oh, what's up?" You know what I mean? Like it normally is. Everybody's like, "Hi, it's so great to have you." And I was like. Is this real? And it was. It was the best. It was the best experience ever. And everybody is to this day still friends. And even if you don't see each other all the time, it's yeah. like it's kooky how supportive and loving everybody is. Yeah, it's kind of boring to talk about. I know it is. Everybody and people ask all the time. They're like, "Do you guys really all get along?" And it's like, yeah. It would be so much more fun to be like, "No, it's all a facade." How was the whole naked thing? You were naked. Well, or were you not? Were you one of the uh, cast members who chose not to be naked? It was me and one other girl because she was seventeen. Ah. And uh, so you know, she decided she, we called her Baby Katie because she was the baby of the tribe. And her and I would run off; it would be all too much for us when everybody started getting naked. It was our choice whether or not to get naked. And uh, was that a big choice, or were you immediately like, "Hell no"? You know, I thought it, because I was 
late coming into yeah. it and everybody had already done the naked thing and been comfortable with it. Um, in tech, in the park, the director said, hey, listen, you know, you guys do whatever you want. If you want to just take off your top, take off your top. If you want to take off your bottoms, take off your bottoms. You want to get totally naked, get totally naked. So Show one butt cheek. You want to just show one butt, yeah. You just want to show your nipple just to, you know, we'll see. <laughs> and so that first day um, in tech, I just went topless. I was like, all right, I'm just going to try. I don't know how I feel about them. I'll just, you know, I'll just try this first. And then that night um, after, she said, you know what, listen, if you're not going to get totally naked, you guys, it'd be, you know, some people probably wouldn't get naked. She was like, Jackie, so why don't you stay clothed because you didn't do it. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so are you saying that Diane Paulus did not like your breasts? I don't think she liked my breasts. <laughs> you were distracting the entire production. I made me really upset. I was like, what, should I do something? <laughs> like... But Actually, Jackie, you're the outcast. You can just stay clothed yeah, and run, run like, off stage. Run off stage. Nobody wants to see you naked. Get out. Get out. We got enough with your abs. <laughs> like, just keep the rest on. But when I would go on for Sheila, I used to get naked. But it was... Uh. So the, the Sheila has to get naked. Yeah, she would get naked. I mean, I wouldn't have, I didn't have to. Casey did get naked. So, right. but again, they were very like, you know. But you had to. For right. me, I was like, right. the character would get naked. Right. So I did. But it was great in that sh in that role. I wore hair extensions, long long uh. long hair extensions. <laughs> So I would go back and I would strategically place my <laughs> long hair and then I would strategically place my frontal in front of HUD's huge <laughs> afro who would be kneeling and it was perfect. So really I would Stand be, behind HUD I would and be, yeah, come I would, out the hair. I would beffle a little and <laughs> get behind HUD and then I'd put my hair over my and boom, I was not naked. So the night that John Celia was sitting there being fed grapes and he said I want that one yes was it one of the nights that you no. were no you were close you, yeah. you, you were not naked. I kept something to the imagination I guess. <laughs> it worked yeah yeah so did you know John Celia did you did you see moving out I you know what I didn't I mean you missed like well I saw moving out once but not with him okay. right when I graduated from college I went and saw moving out and um, he wasn't in I saw a matinee I guess he didn't do matinees so. oh yes yes <laughs> we won't talk about that because you know I you do matinees. I like do matinees. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What he does is so hard. Um, so I didn't see him in it. And then uh, it, a girl named Megan Lawrence, they had yeah. just done Damn Yankees together. Right. Yep. And that's why he had come and seen the show with okay. his dad. Yeah. And I guess at intermission, they both turned to each other, him and his dad. So it makes me feel good that his dad thought I was cute too. And we're like, hey, what about the midriff girl? You know. And then after the show, I guess he asked Megan, hey, did she have a boyfriend? And I didn't, and uh, she asked me about him, and she said, hey, listen, he's nominated for a Tony, he's really good looking, Google him, let me know. <laughs> and I was like, all right. So I went home and I Googled him and I saw a picture and I said, yes, I will go out What kind him. of pictures did you find? I Some actually shirtless? found, a, no, I found a bunch from like, Broadway.com, Broadway actually. <laughs> there was one where he was like playing Guitar Hero or something mm -hmm. at some event. He looked adorable, and I so said... So Broadway.com and Megan Lawrence helped bring you together. Yes, so you guys all have to sing at our wedding. I'm so happy we could help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's very exciting. And you've been engaged for a while. For a while, yeah. So uh, how, did, how did he do that? Tell me the story. We, I was in Chicago on, um, on tour. With Wicked. And, with Wicked, and he was in Vegas um, with Come Fly Away. Right. And uh, he came out to visit me for Christmas, and... Um, he asked me to marry him on Christmas Day. It was very exciting. But it was, it was funny because my 30th birthday last year was in October. Okay. And I really thought he was going to ask me for my 30th birthday because I kept being like, we'd been dating since I was 28, you know. So I was like, you know, will we get married before I'm 30? And he'd always be, you know, or be engaged. He'd be like, yes, yes, yes. So my 30th birthday rolls around. And I was like, well, he failed. it's happening he today. It. No, I was like, it's happening today. You're ready. I am ready. We, he threw me this huge party at Landmark. My parents came in from Connecticut. His parents came in. All my friends threw me this huge, We had this private room. I was like, this is happening. I was so excited. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> Did you say anything? No, nope, I just was like, oh, what a beautiful necklace. Thank you. Did your parents think pretty. it was happening? Yes, everybody. Everybody, everybody was, was ready. Happening. The entire staff of Landmark yeah, was, was ready. ready with the champagne. Except John Celia. John Celia was not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's cool, whatever. So I had completely put it out of my mind. I was like, it's not happening. He probably doesn't want to do it while I'm on tour, like while we're not, like you know, yeah. back home together, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know what I mean. So I was like, all right, it's not happening. I let it go. So Christmas comes around, and um, we're opening our presents, and. I get a frisbee 
because we play beach frisbee. We're big beach okay. like, bums, right? And I was like, oh, great, a frisbee. And I went to go like, you know, <laughs> thanks, next present. And he's like, well, you know, pick it up, you know, to see the weight of it. And I was like. Turn it over. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> you know. So I pick it up, and I turn it around, and it was, and my ring was taped to the back, and I was so unprepared. I just dropped it and ran away. I don't, I didn't, never thought I'd have that reaction. You ran out of the room? I, well, I couldn't, because we were only in a little apartment, you know, you're on the road. But I just dropped it and ran and was like, I don't know. And all I remember, I don't remember what he said to me. And all I remember is him saying, so, yes, sir. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know. And, and you've been wearing it ever since. And I've been wearing it ever since. And then we were supposed to get married before I started here on Broadway. Yeah, what happened? Hurricane Irene. Irene, uh, Irene screwed 29. up everything. Yeah, we were getting married on the beach, and uh, which beach? Uh, Madison, Connecticut, because I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. Right by where uh -huh. I live, and uh, Hurricane Irene happened that day. We are we are gonna get married August sixth on the beach. Cool. So it's very exciting. It's a, you know gonna be a big affair. Now you're I'm I'm from Connecticut. You're you from, are. You're from Connecticut. Where are you from Connecticut? Uh, North Brantford. Yeah. And uh, Farmington. My my mother grew up in Farmington. What? Yes. <laughs> and and you grew up in Middletown and Ivoryton. Yeah, Middletown and Ivoryton. And Middletown, I used to go to Bob's stores in Middletown, right? Oh, my whole yeah. childhood that's was all about Bob's. That's where back to school sneakers and yeah, clothes. Yeah, yeah. Bob's, Bob's. That's where you get the fashion. Yeah. So did you come and see a lot of Broadway? You know what? I didn't. You I weren't really a. You, your goal wasn't Broadway, was it? My goal has always been Broadway. I just I took a very I I was I started as a dancer. Right. And I danced, and then. Um, How did that start? Did you have like a dance mom? Do you watch Dance Moms? No, did thank you? God, but I do love that show. <laughs> John won't watch it with me, but I do so, love it. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, I just always sang and danced, and you know, I just that's all I've ever wanted to do: sing, you know, to Michael Jackson and dance around. So I, I danced for this company called Rhythm and Sync, and we would do like. Com competitions like Star Power and you know all those really. Is cool there any video of that we can roll right about? No, now? I hope not. <laughs> Please say no. I hope so not. what kind of stuff you dance to? Like whatever's on the radio. Yeah, I mean, let's. Not, I wasn't. I wasn't a John Celia dancer. I was a. You know, I I could tap and uh -huh. you know move. Uh -huh. I'm not a. You know, and then uh, I decided to go to school for acting because I kind of felt that. If you can sing, you can sing. Yeah. You know, it's an innate gift, and right. I feel like it's really important to focus on the reason why you're on stage. Right. You know what I mean? So. And you um, went to UConn. I went to UConn. It's stores in the middle of nowhere, did. stores, Connecticut. I did. Where my brother went. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. And uh, there's a lot of there's like, I remember there's a lot of cow tipping. I remember talk of cow Lots tipping. Lots of cow tipping. It's in the middle of nowhere, in rural Connecticut. Nowhere, there's three bars and a bunch of cows. It's really what you did there at UConn. So did you hang out at the bars and tip cows? Oh yeah, I got really good at like flip cup and beer pong. <laughs> and you can do a keg stand like nobody's business, <laughs> you know, <laughs> things that your parents pay for college for. <laughs> yeah, it, there's a lot, there's drinking that happens at the University of Connecticut. Oh yeah, and was, I definitely put on the freshman fifteen. Did you? I'm not scared to say that. <laughs> Roll that picture. Yeah, around the... <laughs> my, I remember I came home. My dad was like, "Whoa, hey!" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Hello. UConn. <laughs> UConn. That's where your money went. <laughs> That's six pack. <laughs> but was there good um, acting and training there too? Yes, did you, did it you was, have a good time? Was, I had a great time and it was really good experience for me. Uh huh. Really good experience. What kind of, did you perform there at all? I did. We did like, you know, any college Trojan women. I did a little Trojan women. Okay. I feel like every college actor does Trojan sure, women. Sure, <laughs> yeah. And then I did, you know, I did musicals. Um, I think the only time I'll ever get to play an ingenue, I played Joanna and Sweeney Todd, ugliest blonde you've ever seen, right here. Wow. Man in drag. That's what I looked like, <laughs> the blonde wig. Um, and West Side Story, and, you know, what else? I, don't, I can't even remember what we did. Edwin Drood. Uh huh. I got to have an Indian accent. That was exciting. Cool. Which I think I sounded, I thought I was really good at it, but if I could probably find tape, I'm sure I was horrible. <laughs> But wait, did you ever tip a cow? That's, 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 that, that doesn't happen. I don't know. Doesn't it's, happen. it's just like a legend. Legend that we like to legend. keep alive. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It keeps, it keeps you cool. It's really mean. Yeah. Not I right. would never Alphaba do that. would not. Never. Alphaba would not even. No. Never. No. Never. Terrible. And I'm a big animal lover, so I would never. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I wanted to read you your hair bio because. You guys all wrote okay. crazy ass bios yeah. when you were in here, so I'd like to read this one out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Jackie Burns is a Libra, so yes, she's a very balanced person. Totally. Exclamation point. 
Dog versus cat people. Dog people every time. Every time. I'm a dog person. Me too. It's good. So we got that. Yeah. Long walks on the beach. Wouldn't mind. Now that was before Celia. That was before Celia. That you wrote Celia. that. Yeah. And you, you said you're beach people. So have, have there been long walks on the beach? Lots of long walks. So he's beach. good at that. He's really good at that. Okay. Sunset moments. Yeah. He loves the sunset. Sex. Been known to partake. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to Yukon. All right. Yes. <laughs> Exciting. No, we will keep going. Uh, music, need more. Yeah. You need more music. I need more music. Okay. Love, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, do you think John Selly, he must have been reading this in his seat and then like, oh, look at her. This bio probably also yeah. helped him. It was the costume. It's, it's just the I'm bare, not bare midriff. I love that him and his dad were like checking yeah, you check out. That's awesome. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then you wrote, uh, now is the time for infinite possibility. Let's not disappoint one another. That's right. Nice. I was and trying to be profound. Thanks to your parents. But yeah, w w was it fun to write those bios? It was very fun. I wanted to be, you know, at rate. I wanted mine to be really cool. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, you did a good job. I Thank liked you. it. Thank you. I tried to be as cool the as I could The sex line be. is kind of fun. Yeah. A little, Thank you. It's a little mysterious. Just a, a little. little. I like to partake. Yeah, you don't know uh, with what or who or... <laughs> cows or... <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you get to New York mm -hmm. and... What happened? I moved to New York and um, with my best friend who I lived with for, she, we randomly got put in co college together rooming uh -huh. freshman year. She's not an actress. She's the best. Anyway, so we moved together here and um, I went to my very first audition at Chelsea Studios and I was non-equity. And it was this huge room with like hundreds of girls. And it was my worst nightmare. And I was just sitting there waiting, and you could hear all the conversations. So they were like, oh, I've worked with them. Have you? Yes, it was wonderful. And la, la, la. You know, just like, and I just got all like hot and uncomfortable. And I picked up my stuff, and I left. And I went home, and I said, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I don't want to be a part of this. Terrifying. It's too much. Yeah, I got really, really scared. And I didn't audition for a year. And wow. I just started waitressing. And finally, she was like, what are you doing? You're not here to be a waitress. She was like, you're going to go to an audition. And she picked an audition. She like opened up the paper and was like, look, Tokyo Disney's having an audition. You're going. And I was like, no, I'm not. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, all right, fine. Wow. And I went, and then I got that, and it was great. And um, Tokyo Disney. Tokyo Disney. I mean, in Tokyo. And Yeah. What were Tokyo. you doing there? I was in the Broadway Review. Nice. What great. were you singing? I sang a little Evita. A little, um... You'd be a good Avita. Thank you. That's what I'd like to do next. Let's put that out there. I just... <laughs> I do. It's my, my two dream roles are Avita and Alphabus. Did so you I've audition got, for Avita? I couldn't because I was on the road. And then <clears throat> I was going to go in and then found out I was going to, to Broadway. And I was like, oh, well. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What are you going to do? Alphabet Avita. Yeah. I mean, I was like, you'll, oh, get, you'll get to it. You'll get to yeah. it. Yeah. And then I saw Lena Rogers. Uh, saw her and I was like, wow, well, she's amazing. I'll let her do it first. And she's from Argentina. Yeah. Bonus. I was like, I'll let her do it first. You know, just, and then I'll come in, lay the groundwork. And yeah, then yeah. I'll just come in. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Burns in yeah. a year. So you got to sing some Evita in Tokyo. Oh, I did. I got to sing Evita and, and Mama Rose. Wow. Well, you know, it was awesome. And in and, and, and ja and Japan, we wore, for Mama Rose, very literal. We literally wore a huge hat with about 100 roses in it. It was Mama Rose. Mama Rose. That's awesome. Boom, Japan. Awesome. <laughs> like, it was amazing. That's really good. It was really cool. So then I did that, and then <laughs> I decided I don't want to move back to New York. Yeah. So I, I, um, I might have met this Australian guy, uh, and a um, little history. We don't here. want John, don't watch, listen little to this history. part. You know, I was climbing Mount Fuji, and <laughs> I met this random. On Mount Fuji? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I met this Australian guy, and I said, you're cute. I'm enjoying you. We hung out for like two weeks. So then I called my best friend Rachel and I said, let's move to Australia. And she said, okay. Oh and that's why she's my best friend, because she's awesome. <laughs> so we moved to Australia. What? Yeah, random. <laughs> and um, we lived there for a while. And then they caught on because we kept changing our visas. Like first we were on like a work visa, but that's only like four months. And then we did a travel visa and that was like two <laughs> months. And then finally we kept changing our flight. And then finally the next the time we went to change our flight about after a year, they were like, you need to leave actually. And we were like, okay. So we left. So you left the other one back there. Yes. And we tried to make it work, mm. but it's too far. Skype only goes so far. Goes so far. Yeah. <laughs> so done. So then I moved back and I was like, still don't want to be here. And uh, so I went and did a cruise ship. Wow. And that's what did it. So I had a nine-month contract. I lasted four months and then said, what am I doing? Because I was step-touching to a bunch of old people sleeping. And I was like, this 
yeah. I'm going to take myself seriously now, uh -huh. and I'm going to move back to New York. And you're and like, I'm going to do this for real. And I'm going to do this for real. And ever since then, I have not stopped And working. then you got Rack of Ages off Broadway? Were you an off? Yeah, and then I, yeah, and then, well, I got, um, I moved. Built up to that. Yeah, I, I went, I came, and I got my equity card. My first equity job was a Smokey Joe's. I've done a million of them out in Longport, um, mm -hmm. in Northport. And, right. uh, and then I got hair in the park. And then I did what? What did you sing at Smokey Joe's? You sing like Pearl's a Singer? No. Which track did you do? I did the Shimmy Girl. Oh, you're the Shimmy Girl? I did the Shimmy Girl. Do you want to, sh oh, maybe not in that skirt. I don't know. <laughs> I've done, now I've done it five times, so I think I've done it four Shimmy Girls, one, one Pearl. Okay. So I've gotten to do both white girls Okay, now, okay, good. very exciting. So yes, yeah, so then I did hair, and then I did Rock of Ages. Stripper Girl. Mm hmm I'm big into taking my clothes off. Again with the ah. Boom. Right. <laughs> That's how I work. And then, uh, and then hair and rack of ages went to Broadway at the same time. And it was like, you know, isn't that always how it works? Where no Broadway shows to two. And you're like, well, so I chose hair. Right. And then, uh, and then I left hair and went to Paper Mill, another Smokey Joe's. Right. And then while I was doing Smokey Joe's, got wicked. And you are now the star of the biggest show on Broadway. I know. I mean, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Like from a cruise ship, from Tokyo, from to not wanting Mama to Rose, live in New York, <laughs> yeah, to like. <laughs> and do you? So do you are completely covered. Do yeah. your Do your abs miss the spotlight? They do. Yeah. I won't lie to you. Do you, I, do you still work on them as hard, knowing that no one's seeing them? No, but that dress that you wear in the second act is so heavy. I don't have to work out because you're running around with like a thirty-six pound dress. So it's, it's a good. It's a good ab workout. It's a good way, Yeah. It's a good workout for every, just for workout. everything. Yeah, because it's heavy. And you're in the show with Chandelier Schwartz. I am. As Glinda, and you did the show with her on the road, on the road too, mm -hmm. right? And do you guys, there's a good bond there? I hate her, so it's awkward. <laughs> and I'm I know you kidding. say that, I know <laughs> I that you've, you've told us before that you're more Glinda, she's more Alphabet yes. maybe, she's more the cool, like. She's, yeah, her energy is much more where I'm more, oh, but then on stage we're the opposite. So it's good, off stage we balance each other, because she's very like, Jackie, chill out. And I'm like, all right, you know. Do you worry about like, well, what do I do after starring in like the biggest, most spectacular, most awesome show on Broadway? <laughs> like, well, not until now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, you're nothing's gonna live up to it ever. Yeah, it's like, where do I go from here? Oh God. Avita. Well, hopefully, Vita. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. This is all putting out there. It's funny because the before I left for Tokyo Disney. The night before, my parents came in and we went and saw Wicked while it was still, like, it was just started. Yeah. And I immediately started crying once it started. It was just so amazing. And I remember turning to my mom and being like, I want to play this part. This is, like, my part. I want to play it more than anything. So, like, fast forward eight years later to be playing it is, like, cuckoo. So, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Yes. Do, does John Celia treat you well on these things? He does. Do you, do you think he's going to, what do you think he's going to do? Long walk on the beach. I'm hoping. Partake in a long walk on the <laughs> beach. Partake in a long walk on the beach. <laughs> He's really good. He, I, I always underestimate him uh -huh. and think that like, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna outdo him, you know, because it's a competition with the gifts. Right. Like, who's gonna get more? Right. And he always beats me. I always think I'm gonna get him every year. I'm like, I got this. <laughs> and he always does better. And I'm like, all right, I'm okay with you winning on that, with the right. gift giving. Right. You know? <laughs> Awesome. Well, I hope that uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank and you. it's so nice to meet you, finally. I know, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, you are so much fun to talk to, thank you. <laughs> and you look beautiful. Oh. So thank you for, oh, we for your green nails, actually. Oh, yes. Just little, elf, little alphabet nails. Uh, green. So uh, thank you so much for coming, and thank I hope you. to see you again soon. Yeah. Cool. Well, and everybody should check out Wicked at the Gershwin Theater. They should. They should. I mean, they, why, wouldn't why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Every alphabet that comes, you got to keep going back. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to compare and contrast. Yes, but like me the best, please. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.